back together, Kim K's wedding veil at Kanye West Donda. Hello, lovely YouTube family. Welcome back to Celebrity Binge. In today's video, we're going to talk about back together, Kim K's wedding veil at Kanye West Donda. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Kanye West's latest Donda listening event featured a number of guests, but the biggest cameo of all came courtesy of what appeared to be his estranged wife, Kim Kardashian. During last night's live event at Chicago Soldier Field Stadium while playing the song No Child Left Behind for a crowd of nearly 40,000 people, Kardashian, who filed for divorce from West back in February, slowly walked toward the rapper while clad in all white couture gown by Balenciaga, reminiscent of a wedding dress, as a listening event neared its close. By the time Kardashian came face to face with West on the field, the lights in the stadium shut off, signaling the end of the event and the closing of the album. Kardashian also attended the two previous Donda listening parties for West with her children, though last night marked the first time the reality star was included in part of the production. The Skims founder's sister, Khloe Kardashian, and Kylie Jenner posted clips from the listings event livestream per People, featuring what appeared to be Kim's silhouette gracing the stadium, further adding the assumption that it was her underneath the Balenciaga veil. TMZ reported that the veiled woman was indeed Kim, although the outlet clarified that the couple was not back together. Kim merely wants to continue to be supportive of West throughout their divorce, even with creative endeavors. Thursday's listening event in Chicago marked the third promotional event leading up to the release of West's newest album, Donda. Though the project had been hyped for weeks now, its release date has been continuously pushed back, and it's unclear when the official drop will happen. Donda is named after the rapper's late mother, Donda West, who died at the age of 58 after plastic surgery complications in 2007. Kim K's Grand Entrance she may have filed for a divorce from West in February, but this did not dampen Kardashian's enthusiasm for attending the couple's four children in Balenciaga's wedding gown during No Child Left Behind, the final song of the night. Unsurprisingly, this prompted fans to speculate that the pair could be getting back together. Courting Controversy West made his first appearance of the evening by emerging from his replica house while the word Donda was repeated as black and white footage and photo collages of his mother were beamed onto a huge screen. Accompanied by Manson and DaBaby, the three musicians stood on the porch of the replica home, surrounded by backing dancers in masks and dark-colored uniforms as a cavalcade of SUV cars drove around the building. West was accompanied by rocker Manson, who faces multiple allegations of sexual abuse, which he denies. In February, Manson was dropped by his record Lego following claims of actress Evan Rachel Wood that she was horrifically abused by the musician. Rapper DaBaby, who recently apologized for his comments about gay men and people with HIV, appeared to have replaced Jay-Z on the verse of the n one of the album's tracks called Jail. At a performance at Rolling Loud in Miami last month, the baby invited every audience member to put your cell phone light up, apart from those who were HIV positive or a gay man who had sex in car parks. He also made the false claim that HIV will make you die in two or three weeks. The rapper later said the comments were hurtful and triggering, and that he appreciated the education he has received since. The baby was removed from the lineups to several U.S. music festivals and dropped by clothing company Boohoo after making his initial comment. Kanye's Fire Walk West emerged from the house in a suit of flames before he appeared to join up with Kim K. Again, to much excitement from his fans, he appeared to be unscathed with the suit offering him flameproof protection. West's mother was an English professor at the Chicago State University who died at age 58 in 2007 after complications from cosmetic surgery. The album named after her features contributions from The Weeknd and Travis Scott, plus a sample from Lauryn Hill. Donda's West's death had a devastating impact on her Grammy-winning son, who also named a creative content company after her. Since West last released an album, 2019's gospel-inspired Jesus is King, he also launched a failed bid to become U.S. President. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, so you never miss any amazing video from us.